Lehman Life is a program within the Office of Community Engagement at Lehman College and it supports students in areas of global citizenship. We focus on giving underrepresented students the opportunity to do things nationally and abroad that they never thought possible. Having the opportunity to go out and serve a community is amazing because we're not actually helping them, we're just being there, you know, supporting them basically. Working with other communities other than my own what didn't occur to me before I joined this program. I think that's the importance of Lehman Life, is not that you're going to a community and just throwing money at them, you're learning about the community before you go, so it's important to pay attention to what you're learning, and you're taking what you're learning, and you're providing service abroad. And then you're also taking what you're learning from abroad and you're bringing it back, so it's a full cycle. So we ask students to volunteer at home to start the cycle of support. They volunteer at home because we believe you can't go somewhere else and volunteer if you have no idea what's happening in your own backyard. Once they complete those 25 hours of service at home, they take that experience, information, and they travel to a different community, whether it be across the U.S. or across the world. They volunteer in a specific community and partner with grassroots leaders. They're not going to help anyone, they're going to serve. This will be my fourth Dream and Life trip, so to Puerto Rico. My first theme in life trip was to Pine Ridge, South Dakota. Just seeing the amount of poverty that, was, that already exists in a state in the United States was very impactful. In 2015, we went to the Dominican Republic and there we worked with uh, disabled children, like orphan disabled children. My first trip was last spring. We went to Hinotega, Nicaragua. We worked with Global Medical Brigade. Um, I remember there was a girl named Maria. She went to the school next door, and I didn't speak any Spanish, but every day she would run after school and she would come play with us because we did a, like a charla, a dental charla for the kids where we teach them how to brush their teeth properly, and she loved it, and towards like the end of our stay, at that specific clinic, she even helped us teach the song to the kids. It was just beautiful. They're all sweet. It was beautiful. Tanzania is a beautiful country. Africa is beautiful. Um, I was there for two weeks. Um, that was my first time ever actually feeling homesick. It was like, on the second, can I go home? Um, but I love the culture. I love the people. It's so friendly. Um, and what I learned there was, you know, one second they'll be fighting over, you know, like a baseball. And then the next second, like when it came to the things you needed, when it came to like food, water, one of the first trips I've gone to is Nicaragua. Um, in Nicaragua, we basically served the community's healthcare needs. We got to take blood pressure, take their height, their weight, things like that, and kind of do a triage. So you're looking at a group of underserved college students who are focusing on their classes, who don't necessarily have access to a lot of funding, and we're asking them to fundraise 100% of their trip. Fundraising is hard. It's not always easy to just go up to anyone. Over the course of that trip, I kind of learned that I wasn't raising the money for myself. I was raising it for the people of Hinotega, Nicaragua. So I had a piggy bank at like family gatherings. I also had bracelets that I made and then I just like uh, asked if they can like donate something. The money means a lot when somebody donates to your trip, but it's I think it's important for people to know that when they donate money, it's deeper than that. It's like you're telling us that you also believe in us. When they come home and you hear their stories and you see how much this program means to a student, that has to be my favorite part. <laughs> After that trip to Honduras, that's when I started really researching the possibilities of going to Peace Corps and applying to Peace Corps, what I should do um, so that I can get accepted. You come back because you fall in love with what you're doing or you fall in love with just serving in reality. The amount of dedication that you put into Lehman Life is what makes you a Lehman Lifer forever. So to all of our supporters of Lehman Life, be it financial, in-kind donations, workshop presentations, every single thing that you do means the world to our students. It means that they get to do something and participate in service projects that they never thought possible across the world. So from the bottom of our hearts, thank you, thank you, thank you.